Welcome back, YouTubers, to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Reborn. Last time, we captured a Pachirisu, um, met Fern, met Bill the Barrel's brother, Greg, he gave us a green shard. Um, I showed you guys where the Poke Snack Cellar was, and we did a side quest where we beat two guys, one of them came out of a box. Um, we tried to enter the Pokemon Gym, found out that Julia had other plans, she wanted to blow the door open to this factory, and we left off here, knowing that Team Meteor is inside and we need to stop them. So, yeah, I, I decided after I finished recording the Part 5 about three hours ago that I would do another episode, so I'm going to do two episodes in one day. Well, in one given 24 hour period, so let us begin. Today we will be entering the factory, um, trying to defeat Team Meteor here. This place smells terabadtastic. Tas terabadtastic? What? Julia and her stupidity. The wine hue indicates high levels of pollutants, estimated toxicity 90 plus percent. And this is being dumped right into Azurine Lake, no wonder it's so poisonous. Yeah, yeah, blah blah blah, enough with the hippie environmental bull. Let's get, let's just get going. We have to stop this factory from ruining the lake. Team Meteor clearly doesn't care about the well-being of the city. The path diverges. The most efficient course of motion for facilitation of thorough investigation and reclamation of this property is a similar bisection of the pro a pro party. English? She said we should split up, duh. Rini will come with me, we'll, we'll take this swing. Brandon, you go with Fern, try not to let his attitude get to you. Excuse me? I didn't say anything, come on Rini, let's go! Off goes the dumb chick and the flowbot. Proceed with caution. Um, you were not the intended recipient of my previous statement. Permission for you to be life-endangeringly reckless? Granted. I, I, I don't understand these two. I believe they're siblings. I don't know. Well, as you can see, she didn't get much. She didn't get enough hugs growing up. <laughs> not my problem. So, Brandon, looks like it's you and me. Just try not to slow me down. So, yeah, we are forced to go to the left. We never are allowed to go to the right. And we never will get the chance to go to the right, unfortunately. I always wondered what was possibly on that side, but I guess. There's nothing of importance. Yeah, so this whole place is just basically going to be filled with double battles, which I don't really mind. It's it's a lot like they started doing in Platinum, Pokemon Platinum version, where they team you up with a partner, and after each battle they re-heal you, no matter how much damage you take, or if somebody dies. They will fully heal you, and it's I'm really glad that they incorporated this into this game. And you don't see many Pokemon ROMs. This is not a ROM hack, by the way. It's not based off of any other game. It's its own standalone thing. So to think that they managed to integrate this partner system into this game is awesome. You don't, like I said, you don't see it enough. So yeah, basically, Fern, your partner in this section of the game, is going to have the same three Pokemon that you fought him, that you, that he had when he fought him in front of the big factory. So yeah, he's always going to start with the Badoo. I don't mind, it's his strongest Pokemon, so he kind of helps. Yeah, basically this is going to be a one-way trip. You can't leave, I don't believe. I've never tried. That rhymes. I don't know why. Um, I know there's some hidden items in this place. I don't know. All of I don't know more than one or two. I, can, I think I'll just do this. I mean, there's a super potion right there, so that proves there are hidden items somewhere in here. 
I hope you're not trying to get into things you shouldn't. Oh, well, definitely am. You have no idea what you're getting into. Definitely don't. <laughs> Even though I've played this way too many times. Meteor Grunt Coleman. Definitely not a fight I want to have Pachiri all, but I kind of need the experience before I reach the next gym. So I'm actually just going to bide. Hope they manage to do some physical damage to me, so that I can just retaliate, smash them. I don't think that's a physical damage. Not looking like they can use physical move on me. They, for some odd reason, whenever I use Bide, they never attack me. They always use some stat lowering move or some special attack move. Let's see. <laughs> oh wow! Uh, so Mud Slap is physical in this game. Why? Oh, at least at least it hit. <laughs> That's all that really matters. I suppose I can just charm him. Or I'm pulling this. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought I was gonna miss her a second, it was taking too long. Yeah, in case you guys were wondering, um, it's 2.30 a.m. here right now. Completely wide awake, just had some cappuccino so I could warm up a little. Not tired at all. I Especially since I woke up at 5 p.m. My sleep schedule's been really off lately, but I don't know. I always have the best time to record any time between like 8 p.m. and midnight because my a lot half of my roommates like to go out around that time. I like to smash the town around. So I have I have three other roommates in case you guys were wondering. I have one roommate who's uh, working on setting up his channel right now. He'll be doing walkthroughs for some uh, PC games. I think he's starting out with Deadpool. I don't know. Um, I'm thinking of having him star on my... Have to make a guest appearance during one of these Let's Plays someday. I don't know. I, I think I talked to him few days ago he said uh, he wanted to set up his, he wanted to officially get his channel set up before he made any guest appearance and possibly put up a video. I think right now he's working on his uh, opening sequence for his. I don't really think I need an opening sequence. I mean it's a let's play for Pokemon. I don't feel too I don't want to feel too flashy by making an intern by making an entrance animation sequence. I mean, I'm just not that showy. Just basic. So yeah, once he gets his channel officially set up, I think he's gonna make a guest appearance during some of my episodes for this game. It'd be pretty nice. I mean, he can help me uh, vocalize what goes on in the game, or who knows, we might just start telling stories. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I kind of realized that Aaron has been mud slapping my face. And my partner's to do just died. God, turn, get your head out of your anus. Stop mud slapping me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I was, uh, during the three hours that I was waiting, that I was pondering, rendering, and uploading the previous episode, I was kind of thinking about what I'd do for part six, and I kind of realized where I left off. I was like, yeah, probably ain't gonna get any new Pokemon this time. Unless Bidoof manages to evolve into Vibrel, then I can go do the trade. Otherwise, I was going to start the gym, too. But, 
depending on time's sake, we might just finish up this place. And, like I said, if Badoo, Badoo evolves into Vibro, then I'll do the trade. And then I'll end off right in front of the gym. And then we can pick up from there for part 7. And in, in case you guys were also wondering, I do plan on making a video per day. I don't think that's going to change for a while. I do think on weekends though, I will try to put out more than one per day. Um, because most of my weekends I spend here on campus, and my roommates like to leave for the weekend. I don't always leave for the weekend because I live three and a half hours away from campus, and my friend who came my friend who came to this college with me, who also attends here, um, he only leaves every, like, second week. And I don't really want to bug him too much by making him take me home, plus I don't get homesick very often. So, you know, it kind of works out for both of us. He saves on gas money, and I, I don't have to surprise my parents every weekend. Or my mom. My, my parents are recently divorced, but, you know, that's a story for a different day. You shall not pass! I, I'm pretty sure that's a woman. Oh no, they're both guys. Okay, so it could work if Gandalf's name was Sanchez or whatever the other guy was named. I don't know, I, I didn't read either of their names very well, so, you know, I could be wrong. I'm banking on my partner, Fern, killing both of these two boots right now. Yeah. I do chump damage. And he uses defense curl. Oh my god. Sometimes the CPUs are really dumb. Sometimes they're really smart. I hate it when they're really smart. <laughs> but I love it when they're really dumb. Devin and I, I, Devin and I think the other one was Ch Chavez or something. I don't know. Talk to some more stuff. So this, so yeah, that was the first floor, right? I mean, a bunch of chumps. I want to turn around and talk. Let's talk more. Walk. Let's get a move on. All right, jerk. We have a goal to achieve. You won't get in our way. What are you doing here? Um, I got lost? Simon and Tara. Alright, it's funny that I actually read these names. Um, later in the game, Simon is really, really important. Um, I shouldn't say really, really important. I mean, there's actually a small side quest involving Simon from Team Media. I mean, th this is no joke, I can't make this crap up. <laughs> it shocked me. I was like, oh my god, this guy is from Team Meteor. Why does he have a side quest for him? But it was, it was really interesting. You find out some really deep and dark crap, like, you wouldn't believe it. I was shocked. Yeah. God, I hate Mud Slap! New Super Sonic. It sucks that both of these guys have two moves I really dislike. And especially that my partner is Badoo. is terrible against both of these guys. Poison and Flying. Yet this jerk bag of a freaking Zubat is trying to use supersonic on me, so I can't hit it. I am glad, however, that my partner's Badoo managed to paralyze both of the enemies. Kinda gives me a higher chance of winning. And... <sighs> Finally killed that Zubat. I don't have to worry about supersonic anymore. And I'm only one level away from the Viverell, and he disabled my rollout attack. Grimer, I really hope you die. It's really painful. I'm gonna tackle. 
Oh. oh, thank you, Snivy. You lowered his defense. You're not useless. Dude. Thank you. And he's paralyzed. He's paralyzed in that. Seriously? Seriously? Roll? Crap. Crap! No longer disabled. Thank you. You missed again. Why you missed? I hate you. See, this is why I really hate mud slap. Really hate. Especially this early in the game when you don't have any moves that are 100% guaranteed to hit. Final blows. I realized I missed again. Ugh. And he's no longer wrath, so... God, what the hell? Finally! Thank God! He should have died four turns ago. No, three turns ago. Yeah. God, was that awful. So yeah, we gotta go down here. You can see the little monitor. We have to activate it. Kind of sucks. Demian and Antony. And Antoine? And Antony? I think it was Antony. I don't know. So I'm gonna roll out on that Venonat's face. I hate you! See what I mean? They never miss! They never miss! And I'm gonna hurt myself, because Renji's dumb. See? The game hates me. It hates me. Now, Fern's Badoo isn't gonna do crap against the Venomat. Thank you for snapping out. Wow, that has never, never happened. Oh, I hate you, buddy. And I missed. I didn't even use freaking mud slap on me this time. Again, exhibit A of Badu being absolutely useless to me. I mean, sure. I did kill that Puchiano so I could focus a little more on the gun map. I want to use stunts for this time, that's good. Although, Paralyzed doesn't kick in until next turn, which is bad. But I still killed it? Okay, I don't care. Level 15! Yes! Bibarel, here we come! Hmm. Hmm. Renji's evolving. Yeah. I can get rid of it this episode. Yay. I love, I also really love the evolution animation for this game. The idea of the Pokemon spinning, some of the designs that it could potentially create were astounding. The first time I watched it, I'm pretty sure I just died inside because like, one of the... I don't remember what Pokemon it was that was evolving, but with it spinning like that, it looked like a freaking snowflake. And I kind of crapped myself, regardless of the fact that I absolutely dread snow and live in Wisconsin. So... Alright, so now... I'm gonna switch school up front, because... I mean, it's my starter. Kinda makes sense for my starter to kinda gain a couple levels or so. Let me do a quick save as well. Don't take another step. I spy with my little eye intruders. Hmm. Billiard? <laughs> and my, my Michaela? Michaela? Yeah. I don't know, that's a weird way to spell Michaela. Bubble. Bub bubble. Wow! 
Talk about OP. Jesus. I've never seen absorb do that much. Oh yeah, thanks, Jacqueline. Oh, bubble. Did I ever mention I really like it when they pair you up with a teammate in this part? <laughs> you don't have to worry about wasting any of your supplies for healing and stuff. Which is great. Problem? I saw nothing. <laughs> so we're gonna keep going. And look who we've caught up to. Flobot and Julia. It's just a matter of opening it. If they're planning more demolitions, they probably have a stash of explosives somewhere. If we can get those, I can easily boom this gate to smithereens. Actually, I see. The station's digital security system appears substandard. It should be breachable. Please hold. Hold, schmold. That'll take all day. Brandon, think you can find where they keep the explosives? It wasn't the way we came, but it's probably nearby. If you can do that, we'll be in easily. Why is combustion your solution to any obstacle? Fun for the whole family? Yes. Whatever, man. I don't have time to sit around all day and wait for the flowbot to hack into the system. Let's just go find some bombs already. That's the spirit. For once, Fern says something I agree with. Quick, Brandon, to the boom-mobile! Alright, that... That's, that's probably the best thing I think she's ever said in her life. The boom-mobile? That's great. See, it's the explosives. They're down there. I must get the explosives while I head bob at this machine. Alright, let's keep going. Intruders, get out of my sight. Grand? Oh, Janus. Janus? Janus. I believe it's Janus. Bob Bubble! thinking, should I just let school reach level 16? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get school to evolve this episode. No matter what. School will turn into a print club this episode. It will happen. We only have one level to go. Get rid of water sprout. Sport sprout? What? what? I can't read. Water sport? I really have no use for it. I don't really have anything that's weak against fire, and I don't think we fight any fire type Pokemon for a while, so. Um, checking stuff. There's an open box. I don't know why that's there. No friendly barrels in this place, it looks like. Except for that one that gave me a super potion. You want these? Come and get them. Just what do you want with our bombs? We're going to... Words of Julia, we're going to boom your faces off. Rod and Ringo. Ringo. I think I have a character named Ringo in one of my stories, I wrote. Definitely don't want to use pound. I definitely hit the down button for bubble. And my partner is already dead. Thanks, Padu, for being very, very useful. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, crits for days. And you put me to sleep. God, do I want to hurt you so bad right now. I really just want to hurt your face. Hey, okay, level 16. Alright. What else? I am actually just going to switch to Buff Ball. It's going to evolve after this fight. And... Awesome Pottery Sword. Yeah, 
so I really hate that fight every time. It seems kind of... that guy swore. Yay! Grandpa, I love you. Especially since you still have Defiant as an ability. I love Defiant. I don't know if I've ever told you guys that. <laughs> So, we now have a Prinplop with Defiant. And it wants to learn Metal Claw. Awesome, I can get rid of Growl. So, we have a pretty diverse set of attacks, however some of them are pretty weak. For some odd reason, Fern ma manages to get out in front and grab those explosives. I don't know how. But, now, I'm going to take... I'm gonna put Faker up in front. Weakest, she kinda needs the most EXP right now. Yeah, and that'll just about do it. I'm gonna save right here because there's a pretty big fight coming up, I think. Here you go, crazy lady. Boomies! You got them. Wait, Boomies here? From the last airbender? Boomy, show yourself! You just have him earthbend this place into oblivion. Whatever. Okay, let's do this. Okay, three, two, ka, huh? Security breach complete. Let us proceed. Wait, but I end the booms. What about the booms? Greeny, you can't do that. I was just about to. Greeny. Julia's dumb. Ha, huh, leave it to my sister to ruin everyone's fun. Whatever, let's just get a move on it. So, I'm also gonna save right here. And let us figure out what's going on. You, are you the one in charge here? And if I am, we're gonna blow your face off. <laughs> That's terrible. That's like the most evil thing one of the good people's ever said, ever. We're gonna blow your face off what you did to the Paradox Station. Amusing. Tell me, what power do you think you have to do so? Just who do you think you are, anyway? You know already. We are Team Meteor, and we do not relent. Don't think you got through this place on your own ability. We had no intention of defeating you. Our purpose here is forfeit already. But it was necessary to let you in so that you could attend a demonstration. Let us in? Did you really think you hacked our security so easily? Foolish. I ordered our operators to slow you down long enough to delete all mission critical data from our systems, but it seems we overestimated your strength. Time was ample, we got bored of waiting. Now enough talk, Aster? Yes, boss. Eclipse? Yeah? Deal with the small fries, I can deal with the gym leaders. Hmm, <laughs> if you say so. Or Team Meteor! So yeah, these guys you will meet again in the future, which I think is a nice mechanic for the game, considering that you get to re-fight the Team Meteor characters. I mean, they show up again and again through all the rest of the game. And I think this is aimed for me... Oh god, I'm glad... No! No! You were supposed to survive that! God! So now the crappy part is, my last, my two strongest guys on my team now are both water types and that stupid elected. God! I hate you. Can I, can I just, can you just go away for a little while while I kill you? I really don't want you on the field. Why are they level 16? This is... This is illegal. No, my partner is going to get his stuff wrecked. You know what? I never really checked my Patrice's ability either. Hmm. Damn. I'm, I'm sorry I cursed there. 
I know I made a pact with myself when I started recording the Let's Play that I wouldn't try to swear. That's the first one that's gotten by. I'm sorry for any viewers that heard that. I'm really upset. I kind of left that out. I'm stressed to HP if I know what they're fighting. That's kind of useless, considering that this Yolekid cannot possibly know Discharge yet. Then you're gonna heal yourself even better. God. And I missed. Thanks, Magby, for being a jerk bag. Wow, how could a fire spin do that much damage? I need a crit. I need a crit. Can you crit? Why not? Oh my god. These guys must have maximum IVs. This is ridiculous. Kill it. Kill it. Yes! Thank god the freaking Ewaki is gone. Now we can focus on the Magby. Paralyzed hack. And... Burn Snivy is dead. Terrific. Lotad. His best Pokemon ever. Why did you miss? I hate you, Smokescreen, on Magby. Why? Why do you. Why? <laughs> okay, okay, it's hit. That always screws me up. I'm, I'm not used to there being a field system. Which is another thing they added to this game. They added field types for almost everything in the game. Why do you miss? Why? Now you're dead. Do we seriously- Ah, oh, God! That's crap. Um, yeah, I'm just going to use Scoop, because we're going to be getting rid of Vibrel once we're done in this place. So, one bubble, that should kill it. Thank you. God, that was a terrible fight. Level 17. Good. Huh? Yeah, you're dumb. And there is an electrode and a cradley. Grr. So you lost already, how disappointing. I can take on two myself easily, but four? Well, it was an amusing diversion. Don't think you've won, though. Team Meteor does not forgive. And they vanished! Is he gone? Affirmative. Cradley, return. You too, Electrode. Good job. Now, let's see. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, you should all start running now. Huh? What did you do now? God. Oh crap, let's run. No. I don't know, I read that weird. And uh, apparently, she blew up the whole place. Well, that's a wrap. Go team! Uh huh. If you're done with your pyrotechnics, I'm getting out of here. Indeed, the obsidian remains problematic. I will attend to that now. Okay, thank you for your help. I know you've been really busy since our graduation, but it's nice to get to hang out, just like old times, right? And, equal, and equally destructive, correct. However, sentimentalities remain counterproductive. I will report today's proceedings to AIM. Farewell. And she literally phases into a building. Like, there's no way down from there. Rini. She's never been the same since... Since Titania? Yeah. She traumatizes people like that. What's new? Anyway, I got places to be too. I'm not like Brandon here who can wander around forever and not get anything else done. Peace. And he goes and phases through a building. These people are insane. Thank you for your help today, Brandon. You were great. I'm going back to the gym now, since I know it's not going to randomly go boom in the middle of the night or something. I expect to see you soon. And she phases through the building too. What is... 
Is there like a portal? No, there, there's no portal here. Alright, so... Let's go trade! And get the third permanent member for my team. And I really hope it's a guy this time. With the same ability it had last time. You know what, as a matter of fact, I'm actually going to save here. Because if I don't get... I at least want the same ability that it has on my other save file. I don't really care if it's a guy or a girl. I, I just really want the same ability. So yes, here's a lit Leo named Braveheart. So that is our third member. It's male. Oh my god. Tell me you still have... You have unnerved. You know what? I have an ability capsule. I have an ability capsule. I have an ability capsule. So let's see if this will give Litleo the ability I want him to have. Yes! Moxie! So this is the ability that I had on the Litleo from my other game when I got it. So, yeah, Moxie. I definitely prefer that over Unnerve. Yep. Um, and it has headbutt, so this brings me back to the uh, wild Pokemon areas, especially headbuttable trees, because I can headbutt trees now and I can do that for you guys. So, um, comments down below for Pokemon's names that I'm not using. So that would include Pachirisu, Wismer, Panpour, Cricketot, Panseer, um, and I think that's all of them for right now. And other comment choices would be, um, I can't think right now, and I'm, I'm kind of too happy now that I've got Whitleyo with Moxie. Um, oh yeah, yeah, uh, <laughs> the wanting to see what wild Pokemon show up in different areas. So there's the Grand Hall, there's the fishable Pokemon in that guy's pool, the Pokemon in that one guy's garden, and the two alleyways that we've gone to. So those are the places that we can get wild Pokemon so far. Um, I do believe you've only ever seen the Bidoof and the Rattata in the grass by the Grand Hall, and the Poochiana in the second alleyway we've ever visited. So, if you guys want to see any of those other wild Pokemon in the areas, leave a comment. Um, I'm also still accepting Pokemon nickname suggestions for the Pokemon I listed off a little bit ago. Otherwise, I'm going to end the episode here. Um, if you enjoyed the episode, leave a like, subscribe if you want, leave a comment below. I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Pokemon Reborn.